pew, 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 pew. Happy Cheese Hug, everyone! Woo! Hey guys, it's Jessica from Korea now. Long time no see. I was working from home for over a month due to COVID-19, and while I was stuck at home, the autumn has arrived here in Korea, which means Chuseok is here. Korean Chuseok is observed on the 15th day of the 8th lunar month, and this year it falls on October 1st. It comes every fall in the season of harvest, so it's considered Korean Thanksgiving. Unfortunately, we don't eat turkey, but instead we eat a variety of different foods that comes on a chare table. You might ask, what is chare? In the morning of Chuseok, family members gather to pay tribute to their ancestors in the form of chare, a memorial ritual. It is held in honor of deceased family members up to four generations back. So just like any other Thanksgiving feast around the world, preparing food for chare can take days depending on the size of the family and the number of dishes. So for today, I prepared some foods last night and brought them here to the studio. Can you guys help me carrying it, please? Oh, be careful, the soup is still hot. Okay, thank you. Ta-da! So this is the standard type of chare table. Lots and lots of foods, right? So today we'll go over some basic rules of chare table setting for those who are new to this because not only the cooking but also placing these foods on this table has a role. The table setting can vary according to traditions of different regions and families. First, set up a screen to the north and place the ritual table in front of the screen facing the living. There are five rows on the table. We're gonna start off with the first row closest to the ancestral tablet here. First, you'll put utensils and glass for some soju. And for chuseok, you put songpyeon, which is a special half moon shaped rice cake we eat during the holiday. The second row is for the fried pancakes like cheon and some meats and fish. Basically, the main dishes. So from left to right, you put meats, fried pancakes, fried fish, and shirutok, which is another rice cake. Next, place boiled dishes like meat soup, beef soup, or fish soup in the third row. The fourth row is where you will put dried fish and seasoned vegetable side dishes. When placing a whole fish, be sure to put the head facing the east end of the table. Last row is for fruits and desserts. That's where you will put apples, jujubas, chestnuts, pears, and such. Just remember one thing here. Red foods comes on the east and white foods comes on the west end. Done, ta-da! Here's the chata table for this year's chuseok. From grandparent to granddaughter, every family member gather around to eat. So back in the past, the burden of preparing food for chare usually fell on the female members of households, but nowadays with more women entering the workforce, the chare table is becoming simpler. These days, they even deliver the chare foods from markets or restaurants. So this is one of the ways we enjoy chuseok here in South Korea with lots of food and lots of love. So happy Chuseok to everyone and I'll be on a 5-day holiday. See ya!